right guys, so today we're going to take and go back to work on the TiVo, do a little bit of finishing up on a few things. I want to go through and redo some of the cable management a little bit. But the biggest improvement I want to do is adding a MOSFET. Now, as you saw back when I did the live build, I uh, was able to get it work, working perfectly fine the first on the first try. The only thing was, after I shut off the live stream, I went to print one more Marvin. I went to preheat the print bed and it wouldn't preheat. Here's the problem that I have and I think a lot of other people have had in the past when it comes to when you hear the about the fire safety and all that. If you don't have that lug in there just right, I don't know if you can see the spark that glow through that plastic and you can feel the wires starting to get a little bit hotter. I actually had the thing in there all the way. I had it as tight as I could get it. But the thing is, I had to actually take a different screwdriver and really force it to get it where it, I could print with it again. And I don't know if you can really tell how big that, that lug is. But that lug is as large... It's, it's on the verge of being too large to fit up into the, the hole of, of this. Okay, so on this MOSFET, I'm trying to figure out a way. I'll figure out how to hook everything up here shortly. I want to figure out a way of mounting this probably underneath the circuit board. So I think what I'm going to do is slide the circuit board up on this frame. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, somehow fix this on there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, go over to uh, Tinkercad, design a quick little bracket to kind of mimic the back plate of the circuit board. And uh, so I'll have a mounting point for it to get everything away from the, the metal frame and everything. So let me go ahead and work on that and I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay guys, so as you can see everything printed out. These uh, little caps they printed took about six and a half minutes. They didn't take very long at all. I had to do those separate from this because this required some support material underneath it. So let's see. Oh good. Coming off nicely. I had to do it with a cold bed because of the problem I had with the heat bed which is ironic because that's the whole reason why we're doing this project <laughs> uh, let's see let's see if the support material will come out all right anyway there is my block and that will mount on the the 40 the 2040 extrusion using the T nut uh, T was it two T nuts and the little bolts and then on the caps see if I get everything together here it's like she way it's supposed to work first off let's clean these little where it stood some stringing get that cleaned off of those little nubs there so the way I designed this hopefully 
These right here will work as standoffs. So when I put the MOSFET on, oh good it fits. <laughs> I'm glad to see that. And I think these pieces here that I have, yeah that's kind of what I was thinking. I just need to clean them up a little bit. Take a screwdriver or something and just kind of twist it around that first part. Because it where it squishes down on the bed, it's, it leaves a little bit of a little bit of stuff right there in the very beginning of it. Now it should fit down. I'll have to take that one back off, but yeah, I can squeeze that on there. I don't you don't even think I'll have to use any glue whenever I squeeze it on. And that will hold it in place. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to get everything rearranged here. And uh, we'll go to uh, getting this thing installed. That screw is locked up. So what I may have to do is take this board off and desolder that that piece and just solder my wires into the board. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too. That way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care.